Hi, it's Mark Gart here from UK Lock Sports. Um, just going to have a go now at picking this uh, standard pin lock here. Uh, five pins in it. But I'm going to be using bobby pins. Now, there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube about using bobby pins and paper clips. My thought on is, personally, they're rubbish. But I do happen to carry one with me, just in case I'm ever locked out, because people will say to me, Oh, you never carry lock picks with you. Oh, uh, what are you going to do? One day you lock yourself out of your house and they'll be in the house. Well, that's why I've got one of these. Because with enough determination and swearing, I will be in my house with one of these. Problem is, can't take lock picks out with you because it's classed as uh, going out to commit a crime. It's pretty much the same as walking in the bank with a baseball bat or a shotgun. You, you might not intend to rob the bank, but the police see it as intent. Anyway, my my technique I'll be using if I ever need to get into my house is just get a standard bobby pin like this and just bend it in half, well bend it in half like that and you snap it straight down the middle so you end up with two pieces like that. Then you take your crimped end, not the end with the ball, the other end, you put it in and you bend it so it goes something like this. I like to bend it a bit more if I can. So push it against your door or something. Just makes it a bit easier. And then with this bit here, you have to put it in the top of the keyway here. Sorry about the light reflecting on this. In the top of the keyway. And you bend it sideways like that. Obviously your doors your locks in the door like that. But it does take a bit of force because it is spring steel. But you can do it, you can make that hook. Then I prefer bottom of the keyway tension with these. Just put it in. Obviously, my voice is busy at the moment because it's holding my phone to record this on. And then, there you are. So we've got a tension here at the bottom of the keyway. Like that. And then, I'll just go in with my pick and gradually pick my way in he says these are rubbish picks by the way just to let everybody out there know if I get in within five minutes I'll be quite astounded to be quite honest with you because you get no feedback half the time your pick won't reach all the way to the back of the lock and if it does you end up out the other side and you don't even know about it I've had that happen to me as well Sorry, I'm just going to try and focus this in a bit. There we are. I know it doesn't make much difference because my hand keeps moving. That's because I'd rather be doing this in the vice, to be quite honest with you. I'm not going to spend too long trying to get in like this. If you can't get in by picking it, most of these locks here have mostly standard pins with one spool in them. The odd occasional one has two spools. So turn your pick upside down and rock your way in like that. If you get your spools, you'll feel something called a deep set. And that'll be, you, you've caught on a spool. That's when you have to turn it around the other way really. And start working your way in properly by single pin picking it. And there we are, we're in. It was the, actually the back pin I was having problems getting hold of. Um, I'm, at, I'm actually being, oh, left me picking there like an idiot. I'm actually being ever so careful with this lock because I have no C-clip or E-clip, well, depending on what you call it, on the back. So if I'm uncareful that cord, it just pop right out. Anyway, I just want to talk about one of the techniques I like to use with a paper clip, um, you can't actually use, you can't get a tension wrench out of it, which is this one here. And basically, you just do the same as you. You don't bend it in half. You bend it up to that point there, which is about what 
two and a half ridges at the top. See what I mean? So you can't make a tension wrench that small properly. It won't happen. So keep two pay keep two of these with you if you're gonna use this technique. But um I'm not gonna do that, so I'm just gonna put my tension wrench in here in the bottom of the keyway. And I'm just gonna try and pick over the top. Advantages of this is you haven't got it flicking all over your hands like side to side, side to side like that. This keeps it pretty sturdy, so you've got your two fingers there and you pick down with that. He says, and this is like bitch picking basically. But you just go in and you just just want to know if it's actually touching that last pin at the back here. And the answer is, yeah, it is touching the back pin. Yeah. Right, and it turned upside down in the lock, that's what I mean. There's no telling what these... ...pins will do. Anyway, I think it's just this back pin. Let's see if I can get in the back here just to set it. No. Anyway, that one does work as well. It's my preferred method. But you can get in with this one. So yeah, if you're going to keep a bobby pin in, uh, a bobby pin in your wallet to get into your house, that's how you do it, and if you're keeping two bobby pins, that'll be how you get in. Anyway, if I suggest though, if you're doing it just to take, just to pick locks around the house or whatever, you just get a lock pick set. I mean, they're not overly expensive. I got my Southwards set, which is basically my picks like this. Not this exact one. This has been polished up by Crepeche, like your city rake here. And they'll get you in even quicker, he says. Feeling himself with confidence now that he's just going to go straight in and out with it. Yeah, so by doing this, this is working on trying to copy the keyway, but it doesn't work every time with city rakes because this can overset the pins. Whereas that's what we were doing there called SPP, -in, which is single pin picking. And by doing that, you're setting each pin individually, which is what you'd use something like this for. And you just go in. Like I say, usually you do this in a vice. It's a bit awkward in your hand. I think I've either set a pin or two. I've been using that little bloody thing. Ah, oh, God, cramp. There, yeah. and you're in. Still quicker with your normal picks. You can do it with them, but these are designed for it. Whereas they'll only reach about the back of a five pin cylinder like this. Whereas these picks here, I mean, you're going into your six and sevens there. So it's in the pin cylinders, and that's when you're going to feel the difference, and you're going to get a lot better feedback, and you're not going to do this to your finger as much if I can get it to zoom in. So it'll do it. Anyway, it really digs in, really hurts, trust me. But anyway, stay safe, stay legal. Please give me all the advice and feedback you can. I love to hear it. I love to take it on board. 
if you're new to my channel please subscribe i do different videos on different things all the time anyway stay safe stay legal